Hey everybody, this is James from Supplied Incorporated. Today we have another interesting review of one of the Kobe 10 colorways. Um, one of my, here's a little bit of background on the Kobe 10 for me. Um, personally, I like the Kobe 9 a lot. I think that it's probably the best model that, that Nike has ever done for the Kobe series. Um, just the fact that it came out as a high and then lowered to a low. And uh, I don't really like the EMs of a Kobe 9, but the fly wire, fly knit pairs and the highs just kind of hit. And in all honesty, that's probably one of the most innovative and creative uh, signatures ever to really release. I think that, that they just did a really, really good job on that. So for me, going from a Kobe 9 to a Kobe 10 almost feels like a downgrade. Um, and it's not meant to be like a downgrade, but in my honest opinion, the 10's just not as good. Um, this particular model, I feel like it just didn't have as much uh, I don't know, it just didn't have that feeling to it where it was like, this is this is the new thing, this is the new innovation. And that's kind of what I'm looking for personally in a new pair of uh, signature shoes. I'm looking for that envelope to push the envelope of innovation. So this is the Kobe 10. This was actually the first colorway. Uh, this is a, you know, it's a basic colorway, but it works. Um, it's a straight blue shoe. We can clearly see that. Uh, one of the problems that I have with this particular shoe though, is that again, I just feel like it looks really, really basic. Um, it looks like something that could have been like a hyperfuse or a hyper rev. Um, there's just not too much going on with it. One of the things that's really interesting and I do like it, but this sole here is just kind of strange. It almost has like an Air Max type sole on it. And actually it does look good. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with this sole at all. Uh, it, it flows well with the shoe. But again, there's just nothing like super crazy about the shoe. It looks like a Kobe 9 EM. And um, you know, if, if you've heard some of my interviews in the past about the Kobe 9 EM, I just don't really like the way that that shoe has come together. Um, I feel like it looks more like a casual shoe rather than a basketball shoe. And this does look like a basketball shoe, don't get me wrong, um, but I just don't really love, I, I just don't really like passionately love the shoe. There's some shoes where I'll tell you right out, this is a shoe that's amazing. Um, I would grab it every single time. KD7 is a good example. Uh, Kobe 9 is a great example. I both love the, the way those models look and feel. Um, as far as this particular color, um, there, there's not much going on. Again, it's a straight blue shoe, the sole's blue. It has a little bit of liner detail here, um, but other than that, nothing, nothing super crazy. So what I wanna know from you guys is, and there's gonna be a ton of Kobe 10 colorways coming out this year. I can guarantee you that there will probably be a mid and some what, whatever other little tiny things they wanna do, so an EXT or whatever. Um, but what I wanna know is, is this a good colorway for you? Did you buy it? What are you looking forward to in the Kobe 10s? Because there is a lot of room for improvement, I feel like, in this shoe, and a lot of like things that they could do, really cool colorways, stuff like that. But so far, I have not been impressed by any of the colorways. So let me know your guys' opinion. Again, we have a ton of new content coming up. There has been a ton of releases the last couple weeks, and we're kind of getting in back into that backtrack of posting a couple videos a day. So make sure you stay on top of that. And then we have an Oreo 4 giveaway going on right now. All you have to do is share the videos and subscribe to the channel and click the link down in our bio that takes you right to the website um, so you can fill out all the information to get uh, entered in to win an Oreo 4. Free to enter, free to win a pair of free pair of shoes. So um, make sure you guys take advantage of that. That's for you guys. And then uh, stay tuned for the next video. We will have a lot of content up and uh, it's all for you guys. So thanks guys.